Okay, as you all know, we're in the midst of a campaign to have an, uh, we're going to have an election to see whether or not the shop's going to be organized. Uh, lots of the reasons, there's a lot of reasons for organizing. Uh, the main ones, as far as I'm concerned, are the tiered system and the way to advance, since there is no way to advance. Uh, as far as we can tell, no one, no one can tell you what you have to do, how long you have to be in a certain position before you move up. I myself been there almost five years, and I'm still exactly the same thing as I was when I came in. Uh, I feel confident in saying there's nothing I can't weld. And after over 40 years of welding, I would think that in five years I would be able to at least move up from a B4 to a B3. I know that all, you, all of you are familiar with the evaluations that we have every, every once a year. Uh, you all know that they're predetermined before you go in. There's not, uh, there's not a talk, there's not a discussion. When you go in there, there's your evaluation and you sign it and you walk out. Uh, Nothing's ever said, or nothing's ever been said to me and to other people I know about, well, you need to work on this, you need to work on that. We all know that most of the uh, evaluation uh, points are subjective. In other words, how well you work with people, that's just something somebody thinks of. They don't really know how well you work with people, how you get along with people or anything like that. We all know that uh, we work safely. We didn't have any accidents last year. So why should you get a two? If there's not been any action, you haven't been involved in anything. You haven't been hurt. You haven't been to, uh, to the nurse or anything like that. But you end up with getting a two. I know people that get a one. I don't know why they got a one on their safety when they never got hurt that I know of. They didn't have any accidents. Uh, we know that the evaluations, it, just as the uh, form for moving up, the little program they gave us, is just a wage suppression. That's all it is. It's a, when someone says, you know, you only score on a two because you don't really work well with others. I work by myself all the time. Uh, I work close to other people, but what I will, no one's holding my hand while I'm welding or pointing out, you know, helping me do it or anything like that. I work by myself. Most of you do. If you're an electrician and you're wiring a box, you're working by yourself. Uh, if you're a mechanic, most of the time, whatever you're putting on onto a machine, you're doing it by yourself. I know sometimes parts are heavy and some, some people might, you know, there might be a helper there, but most of the time we all work by ourselves. So what's the difference how you work with someone and how do they determine whether or not you work well with someone? Uh, we, those are the kinds of things that just, it's just a way to say, well, you only got a two. So, you know, you only get this much raise. I know you all got one of these letters today or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's the same old song and dance. I've had this since uh, earlier today. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon now and I really didn't read it because I knew of what was going to be in it. The same old stuff, the same old song and dance, the same old BS. Uh, they love us now, uh, later on they won't. We know that. Last time we had a campaign, they started out loving us and then they threatened us and then they berated us and then they did all kinds of stuff. Uh, looking through this, uh, hand out here, I saw that uh, there was a, an example of uh, uh, South Carolina, I'm just going to read it, South Carolina has been able to attract and retain good jobs and good companies who come here because employees and employers are able to work together efficiently, cooperatively, and effectively. Companies come to South Carolina for cheap labor, that's it. They don't care if you work with them or not. If you don't want to do the job or you want to be a troublemaker or something, you fire it. The, whoever wrote this, I figured some uh, union busting attorney, he might think a good job pays $12 an hour. Maybe, you know, who knows what he thinks a good job is? 
a guy asked me today, why at your age are you worried about a union? You're only going to be here a couple more years. Well, that's true. Uh, I'm not going to be there that much longer. The union, all of what it would do for me is get, uh, finally maybe I'll get to be an A welder maybe. I'll get recognized for, for my actual uh, craftsmanship. But mainly it's to, uh, you know, make a little more money between now and the time I retire. But my main reason for organizing or trying to organize is to help the younger people here at Harska. Uh, all my life I've uh, worked this kind of work and I've always made a living. Not a, not a real good living, but a living. And I've been careful with my money. I don't have bad habits. I don't throw it away. So financially I'm okay. But I know a lot of you younger guys that have children and, and uh, even some of the older guys, you might be taking care of a grandchild or something. Uh, you need to make more money. It's just that simple. You need more jobs. You need a job that's more secure. But personally, the union getting organized uh, will give me some satisfaction in knowing that I've left Tarsco a better place. Mm -hmm.